Hello everybody, my name is Chris. I have the Sony RX100 for about 10 days now and I thought I would make a list of things that I like and dislike about this camera. Note that I didn't have any previous version of the RX100, so some of these items are not specifically about the 5A model, so for people who think of upgrading, some of this will be applicable to the version you already have. Also, the mention points are valid for me personally and my usage. And I understand that other people will probably have different opinions for the way they want to use the camera. So without further ado, here are my top 5 reasons why I like this camera. Number 1. I really like the image quality of this camera. I think for such a compact camera, the 24-70mm f1.8-2.8 to lens is amazing. A few days ago I went to a lake close by to make some shots and here are some of the pictures I have made there. Those are the JPEG images out of the camera without any sort of post-processing. Here is one of these after spending about 2 minutes in Lightroom. I intentionally did not use the raw images for this comparison. Number 2. The focusing is very fast and reliable. You have plenty of modes that you can switch to to suit your situation. This is, especially for such a small point and shoot camera, a big plus. Number 3. I like the internal ND filter. While this has been removed on the RX100 Mark VI, the 3 stop ND filter is fortunately still available on the Mark V-A model. This way you can keep the aperture open and lower the shutter times without getting overblown images on bright days. And due to the lower shutter speed, you will still get the nice blurring effect of moving objects, like for instance running water. Number 4. Charging via the micro-USB port. Everybody knows that feeling that when you want to shoot a lot of images you will have to carry around a bunch of extra batteries with you. This is not necessary with this camera, as you can just connect it to a USB power bank. Number 5. The custom menu. One of the improvements of the 5A and 6 over the old models is the My Menu area. Here you can create shortcuts to the most used functions for quick access instead of having to search for them each time. I have however found myself using the quick menu, pressing the function button, for quickly changing settings more often now. Here on the other hand are my personal top 5 that I dislike about this camera. Number 1 has to be the overheating when recording 4K or 1080p 60fps. You are limited to about 5-7 to seven minutes of continuous shooting until you see the screen dim a bit and notice the temperature warning symbol. After a little while it will automatically turn off to prevent damage. I understand that this is a small camera and cooling in such a small form factor can be difficult, however to me it is still an annoyance. Second is the lack of microphone input. This is something that has been missing in the previous versions as well and other reviewers regretted not having this feature also, as otherwise this would be the ideal camera for vloggers. Maybe if this was added it would be too much competition with their own line of alpha cameras? I don't know. Number 3. I already mentioned earlier that the images I showed were in JPEG format and not in RAW, as the Sony RAW format cannot be edited in earlier versions of Lightroom. The August 2018 update of Lightroom did include support for the RX100 5A and 6, however some people still use older laptops that don't support the most recent version of Lightroom. You can argue whether this is now actually an issue of Sony or Adobe, but fact is that I will have to use Sony's own software and can't just use the Lightroom version I can run on my late 2008 MacBook Pro. Number 4. I like making time lapses, so I would really love to see a time lapse feature on the RX100. The fact that Play Memories app support has been discontinued on the RX105 A and the 6, the only option is to connect an intervalometer to the micro USB port. Then however, I'm not capable of having the camera connected to a USB power bank and the battery usage can start becoming an issue again. Number 5. Lastly, and this is most likely just a slight nuisance for vloggers, is when having the flip screen tilted all the way upwards, you cannot see the lower part of the screen that contains most of the information like exposure, aperture, ISO and such. Again, this might just be bothering me and many others will not be affected by any of the points in my list, depending on how the camera is being used. Of course there are other aspects why someone would like or dislike this camera, but those were the top 5 of each category for me personally. 
All in all, I have to say that I really enjoy using the Sony RX100 5A. Thanks for watching.